Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. In this video session, you are going to learn about the fundamental forces. So there are four fundamental forces that exist in nature. Let's learn about them one by one. So the first force we talk about is the gravitational force which acts on all particles in this universe and it is the weakest force among these four fundamental forces that we are going to learn but it has the long range or rather we would say an infinite range because it doesn't just act at you know particles sitting together because you know how far are the planets and the sun and everything in this universe but because of the gravitational force they are held together so the range of the gravitational force is infinite so it acts on all particles weakest force and a long range force number two we have electromagnetic force these are the forces which cause electric and magnetic effects so these are the forces that are observed between electric charges or they are observed between the magnets these forces are short range forces they can be long range but they are weak at for a bigger range they are strongest only for the short range so we call them as the short range forces but these are strong forces they are much stronger than the gravitational force and they are quite visible happening among the charged particles but unlike gravitation uh, where gravitation is only an attractive force these electromagnetic forces can be attractive as well as repulsive because like charges repel each other opposite charges attract each other similarly in magnets like poles repel each other and opposite poles attract each other but these are strong forces stronger than the gravitational force number three we have strong nuclear forces nuclear forces as the name suggests so these are very very strong forces and but they are very very short range forces because they act within the nucleus so their range is just 10 raised to the minus 15 meters so they act only within the nucleus so these are the forces that are responsible for holding the hadrons together inside a nucleus right the we know that the particles that are present inside the nucleus which are neutrons and protons they fall under the category of hadrons so the hadrons are held together by strong nuclear forces this force is very very strong but acts over just a short range and number four we have weak nuclear force the weak nuclear force is the one which is responsible for the radioactive decay or we also call it as a weak nuclear interaction so weak nuclear interactions are responsible for the radioactive decay they rather are even shorter range than the strong nuclear forces their range is 10 to the power of negative 18 meters and without these weak nuclear interactions even the nuclear fusion would not be possible so these are very very short range which acts between all particles uh, not just the hadrons but they are the ones which are responsible for the radioactive decay as well as the nuclear fusion so we have learned about the four new uh, fundamental forces of nature they are the gravitational force the electromagnetic force strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force and based on the type of forces or in interactions involved like electromagnetic interaction strong nuclear interaction or weak nuclear interaction or gravitational interaction is involved based on that we will have the exchange particles responsible for an interaction to happen so we are going to learn about those exchange particles in our next video session that's all for this video session thank you for watching